Hello everyone. Today in this video we will be discussing another crucial aspect of the board building process that is folder structure creation. So stay tuned to watch the whole video till the end so that you do not miss out on any of the steps that we will be covering during the entire video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon to receive all the latest updates. So without any further delay, let us start our discussion for the day. In our last to last video, we discussed the first necessary step for board building process. That is how to read configuration file values using A2019 Automation Anywhere. Today in this video we have lined up the second step that is required for board building process that is folder structure creation. Folder structure creation is one of the necessary step as we can store all the relevant information in the files created in the required folder. That is for example the input folder is necessary to store all the input files that we receive from the customer or the clients. Logs folder is used to store the logs related information that is before processing each, each step we can store the information about what the bot is doing in each and every step in the logs file created. Logs folder are divided into three categories such as debug logs, error logs and the screenshot. We will discuss each of these three categories in detail once we start building the bot for folder structure creation. Last but not the least we have the output folder which is necessary to store the output files that has been created by the bot once it, process, once it completes the processing of all the transactions that are there in the process. Now we will see the practical implementation of folder structure creation using A2019 Automation Anywhere. So first of all go to bots then click on my bots and then click on create a bot. Once you click on create a bot, it will ask you to give the name of your bot. So give the name of your bot as folder structure creation. Once you define the name to your bot, then click on create and edit. Once you click on create and edit, the workspace area will open. Suppose we are designing the folder structure creation for the invoice extractor process. So first of all we will check whether the invoice extractor process folder exists or not. So we will drag and drop the if action and then select the condition if folder exists. And then we will give the folder path. So in the folder path text box area, define the folder path where you want to check the invoice extractor process. Whether that folder exists or not. So this is the path that we have defined where, we, where the bot will check whether the folder exists or not. If the folder exists, then it will, then we need to perform nothing else. Then we will drag and drop the else condition wherein we will check wherein we will create the folder if the folder does not exist. So we will go to the folder action or the folder package and then we will drag and drop the create action and in the create action properties we will define the path where we need to create the folder and then we will click on save. 
the next step that we need to follow once we create the main process folder that is the invoice extractor process folder is to create the input file folder the logs folder and the output and the output files folder so first of all we need to check whether these folder exist or not so again we need to drag and drop the if condition so once we drag and drop the if condition again check for the folder exist condition and then enter enter the folder path this time inside the invoice extractor process we need to check for the input files folder whether this folder exists or not if this folder exists then we need to do nothing otherwise else in the else section we need to create the folder so drag and drop the else section after dragging and dropping the else section again drag and drop the create folder action and then and then give the folder path to create the folder that is the input files folder and then click on save then we will repeat the same set of actions for the logs folder then we select the folder exist condition after dragging and dropping the if condition and then give the folder path just change the name of the folder that is from input files to logs and then click on save if folder exist do nothing else create the folder so drag and drop the else condition and then drag and drop the create folder action and then give the name of the folder or the folder path which you want to create the folder once you give the folder path where you need to create the folder then click on save so now we will be creating the debug logs folder the error logs and the screenshot folder inside the logs folder so the debug log folder or the debug logs is used to store all the relevant information of each step the bot is performing so to create the debug log folder drag and drop the if condition and select the folder exist condition and then give the folder path once you define the folder path then click on save if the folder exist then we have to do nothing else we need to create the folder so drag and drop the else condition and then inside the else condition drag and drop the create folder condition and then define the folder path where you need to create the debug log folder so inside the logs folder we will create the debug log folder so similarly for error logs we will use the same criteria or the same method so drag and drop the if condition again and select the error log and then select the folder exist condition
so the error log is basically used to store information whenever there is any error or exception occur in the bot so give the folder path and then click on save if the folder exists then again we have to do nothing else we will create the folder so drag and drop the create folder command inside the else condition and then define the folder path or the folder location where we need to create the error logs folder once you define the path then click on save last but the, not the least we will create the output file folder which will basically store the output file when when the bot when the bot finishes processing of the transaction so again select the folder exist condition from the drop down and then define the folder path once you define the folder path then click on save if the folder exist then we have to do nothing else we will create the folder so in the folder properties define the folder path so that the folder gets created once we run the bot after defining the path then click on save now we will run the bot to check whether the bot is performing as expected according to our expectation or not so to run the bot click on run button so as we can see the bot has run successfully so now we will go to the desired folder location where we created the folders so we will go to the desktop location and as you can see the invoice etc folder has also been created and the folders and the subfolders created inside the invoice etc process has also been created that is the input files logs output file folder so we created debug logs and the error logs folder inside the logs folder so those folders has also been created that is the debug logs folder and the error logs folder so this is how we can you so this is how we can create the folders using a2019 automation anywhere So in today's video we discussed how we can create folder structure creation using A2019 automation anywhere which is one of the most important part while development of any process if you have any queries then do please let me know your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all of your queries if you like my video then do please subscribe and share so that maximum people can get the benefit out of this video till then have a great day